Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is coming across as very attractive, very desirable. Someone is very drawn towards you. Um, this person feels very passionately and intensely towards you. Um, they do see you, though, as someone who may have a lot of... Um, people who want you because the queen of wands it's like they're seeing you as very desirable you know there's that energy of feeling like you could be wanted by many but they also are um seeing you as someone who's very confident and um self-assured and they feel very drawn in towards you and it's more than just physical attraction as well because there's also an energy of liking who you are what makes you you is very attractive to them there's this energy of being drawn to your aura your personality how you carry yourself your style you're just very attractive to this person so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the three of swords in the reverse and this is air energy we have the king of swords air energy and we have the ten of swords in the reverse um air energy again okay so with the ten of swords being there and the three of swords there is an energy here that this is someone where you could have experienced some sort of emotional pain with from dealing with this person and they could have actually been a breakup or an ending um you know some sort of disappointments with that three of, of swords because that is a heartbreak but it's in the reverse and it's like you're facing away from this three of swords there's this energy of this person seeing you as someone who has recovered someone who has healed and um they are seeing you as you know having moved on you know someone who's open to other people now and this person is thinking a lot about you there is an energy of wanting to um come towards you open up lines of communication with that um king of swords because there is an energy with the king of swords being there next to that three of swords that this person wasn't completely upfront with you about their feelings. This person didn't get the chance to be emotionally expressive or honest. And it's like they want to do that now. There's a desire to be more transparent with you now um, because they are still drawn towards you. And with the Ten of Swords being in the reverse, they are seeing you as um, having healed from the disappointment. So this person does feel that you guys can still revive a connection here or, um, you know, there's just an energy of wanting to address the heartbreak. And this can even be an apology that's coming from this person because this is someone who's ready to take some sort of accountability. It's like they are looking at that broken heart. They are um, willing to speak on it to address the situation now from a more mature place because we have that king of swords energy so this person has been really um learning and understanding the situation better now and there is an energy of wanting to communicate with you and address this okay so let's clarify these cards Sagittarius So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So there's definitely an energy of someone who wants to be more transparent with you about their feelings. Um, this person, there's a lot that they kept in, and it's starting to kind of um, get to them. There's an energy of wanting to let it out, wanting to let you know how they feel. Um, there's also an intention to have a new beginning in love with you. Um, this is someone who wants to offer you their cup of love. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse again, and this is air energy. 
we have the hanged man in the reverse pisces energy and we have the two of swords air energy so there is definitely an energy here with the two of swords being there that this person in the past they may have kind of sabotaged the, the connection that they had with you um, this is someone who was operating a lot from a fearful place they could have been very closed off and they could have been very slow to commit or very slow to open up about their feelings this person could have even kept you in limbo with the hanged man being there and there's an energy of they were very suspicious this is someone who, who had trust issues already coming into the situation but it didn't affect the it impacted the connection very negatively and there's an energy of this person puts you in a lose-lose situation where you had no choice but to give up on them. You know, they had no choice but to um, move forward from them. And there's a, a level of grace that you did this with. And this person is very impressed by you. But at the same time, they also are um, acknowledging the ways in which they contributed to the demise of the connection they shared with you. Um, and th with the hanged man being in the reverse there, there is an energy of them coming out of that passivity because this is someone who was a bit passive in the past. There is an energy of they, they didn't give much, especially when it came to expressing themselves or being emotionally available. They were somewhat very guarded and closed off and indecisive. And, you know, there was just this energy of a stalemate with this person. And this person could have broken your heart. Um, but there is an energy with the hanged man of them having gotten a new perspective or wanting to um, approach you with a new, um, as a new version of themselves because the king of swords is a more matured version of, um, you know, themselves. So there's that energy of even if they are still kind of, you know, that logical kind of person, there's still an energy of approaching the situation more maturely than they did before. There's an energy of addressing their feelings, addressing the situation and not dismissing or avoiding it. Um, there is an energy of taking action and wanting to heal the connection, the situation here. Yeah. But there is an energy because we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse and we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. It's like this person may be coming in at a time where you've already healed from them. You're already over it. You're not actually waiting for this person. You're not thinking about them. Because the Queen of Wands here, her, she's facing the other way. So it's like you may have already even moved on from this person. And now they are coming towards you um, with this Ace of Cups offer. So there is an energy of someone possibly being a little bit too late. Um, but there is an energy of them finally coming around when you've already healed. And at most, you can get an apology from this person, but we are also seeing an opportunity for a new beginning in love if you are open to it or if you want it. Because with the Two of Swords, there's even an energy of you may not trust this person anymore. You may have your guard up towards this person because of your experience with them. Because this is someone who it appears hurt you significantly in the past. So there is a, a bit of a guarded energy with the Two of Swords being there. Um, but with the King of Swords being there, that's a very trustworthy, honest energy. So you can trust what this person is saying. But ultimately, it's up to you if you want to let this person back into your life. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says emotions are running high super moon okay so this person has been thinking a lot about you we have this ace of cups that does show that emotions or that water is overflowing it's that emotions they feel a lot for you and it's like they can't suppress it anymore there's an energy of wanting to express their feelings for you um, they want to talk about it they want to put it out there they don't want to keep it to themselves anymore this person feels very strongly towards you and with them seeing you as the queen of wands there's also that energy of them seeing you as someone who's one of a kind um you know someone who's not easy to replace you know there's that energy of i've never met someone like you and i probably never will again there's that kind of energy of them being very drawn towards you very attracted to you and there is um, a bit of some regret on this person's part okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you um sagittarius
Okay, so the card says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this person may be someone who suffers from control issues, a very controlling person. They like to be in control of themselves and the situation. And this could have been what also affected the situation because it led to blocks in the situation. It, it led to some sort of a stalemate. It's like this person, by doing this, they put you in a lose-lose situation and you had no choice but to release or surrender, um, release this connection or, or focus on yourself instead because there's an energy of someone who made things very difficult because they were very in their head um, and with this card showing up here and we have the ace of cups it's like this person is choosing to um, surrender that need to be so controlling over you over the connection okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you um, sagittarius So the card says lily majesty and virtue the lily is the emblem rare of many virtues good and rare so this is that energy of you having handled the situation with grace there is an energy of you having maintained your level of self-respect this person is seeing you as that queen of wands someone who knows their worth someone who you know doesn't settle for less than what they deserve and someone who holds themselves in high regard and they themselves are seeing your worth they're seeing you as someone who they hold in high regard this person they have so much respect for you um, this is someone who does see you as deserving so much more um, so much more than what they tried to offer you in the past there's an energy of recognizing that they are dealing with someone who is you know with that queen of wands they really are holding you highly putting you on a pedestal and your dignity your self-respect was very attractive to this person it, it's caused them to see you as someone who you know they should have treated better i'm seeing someone who really regrets trying to control you they regret offering you less than what you deserved okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius